to the bookish knitter today i'm coming to the daily reading update and i am back in my normal spot it's the weekend and this area tends to be quieter on the weekend so yeah this is kind of the easier place just to come to in the morning um it is the 28th of september it's saturday happy saturday everybody very exciting i've got a very fun day planned today i'll tell you about that in just a second um but first of all i want to say thank you to everybody i posted something in my community tab yesterday so fingers crossed it sounds like garrett has a really 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 good chance of getting this job that he applied for he had a phone interview the other day and then he got an email to come back in for a uh, in person to discuss the position and answer a few questions and stuff so i'm hopeful so it's in the next town over but unfortunately because we live like in the suburbs of toronto the transit system is not that great for those of you who don't know my husband does not drive he does not have a driver's license um he always lived in the city and never had a need for it because public transit was at his front door so he can we were looking and he can take the train to work but it drops him off like at a certain spot and there's no tr buses or trains or anything that go down. It's like a half an hour walk from basically the station to where he would be working or going. Um, so I put a little call out yesterday um, to see if you guys could help because you guys have been so good about helping if you could. Um, we're trying to put some money together to get him a, um, a little scooter. They're like a couple hundred bucks or something, 300 bucks. Um, and then once he gets working, hopefully the money problems will be like, and well, I mean, we'll be a lot better off once he gets working and I'm very excited about it. So I'm really, really hopeful and I'm just trying to make sure we, we get every avenue that we can to make sure that he can get to this job on time and that, you know, things like that, right? So yeah, because <laughs> we thought a scooter is small and he could take it on the bus or the train and just have it folded up. And then when he gets off, just unfold it and like be electric ones that just go, you know? So we see people on them all the time and, uh, you know, I I know that they're dangerous, and I know there's a lot of you who might make comments, but Garrett has a helmet. He used to ride an e-bike. His e-bike's broken, for anybody who's wondering. Um, it uh, it was He bought it used to begin with, and I think he rode it for three years, including in the winter. So he got his money out of it, for sure. Um, we've replaced the battery once. The battery alone to replace it, and that is a, almost $1,000. So it's not really worth it. Um, and uh, so he has a full suit that he wears when he rides and his helmet and he'll be doing the same thing when he rides a scooter because that was my stipulation that I want him to be safe. But anyway, if you can spare, uh, you know, $5 or something towards that would be great. And um, you guys are awesome and I love all of you so, so much for helping. This has been a very difficult thing in terms of finances. Uh, you know, not only has this hospital stay been difficult mentally for me um from being away from him and and him and for him as well but also with him not working it's that added stress on both of us and i'm hoping things are still slowly starting to turn around now so fingers crossed so anyway my exciting day today is that my aunt is coming um i haven't seen her in a couple weeks because i think like i mentioned before my uh, my cousin her son had pneumonia and she lives with them so she decided to opt to not come um, down here just in case she was sick or carried in the virus. She didn't want me to get sick because if I get sick I'm off the transplant list until I'm better um, and we don't want to take that risk and We are going out for a walk today. We're gonna go across the street um, To the chapters indigo. She has gift cards So she's like, well, maybe we can buy something with the gift cards But we're more than anything going just to look around just for something to do She comes to see me like every week and we just kind of sit and chat and I mean that's lovely but the fact that we can get out and I can show her the tunnels underneath and we can go to the indigo because we're both big, big book people. She normally borrows her stuff from the library and really so do I. But every now and then it's fun to go browse the bookstore to see what's new. You know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do today. And yeah, so that's about it. So anyway, reading update, my lovelies. Um, I am now about 35% of the way through Murder at the Murder on St. Mark's Place by Victoria Thompson, the second in the Gaslight Mystery series, and I am about 25% of the way through Witty and Pink by Erica George. So what I've decided to do is like, I got some reading done yesterday and I feel like I got a bit done. Both of these books are on the longer side. They're over 350 pages each, so they're a little bit slower to get through. Like they're not, they are a quick read, but they're a higher page count. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm kind of getting frustrated because I feel like I'm not making any progress is I'm going to put down Woody and Pink as well, 
just focus on the Victoria Thompson, get that one finished, and then read and finish Woody and Pink, and then read and finish um, Pumpkin Spice and everything nice, and then move on to a new book. So really kind of going back to that, I was doing it for a, like a good while, like over a month I was reading only one book at a time, and it was really working well for me. I found I was getting through books at a decent pace, you know, every two or three days I could finish a book, which was great. And I kind of want to get back to that instead of suddenly having three books that I finish all at one time. You know what I mean? So I've just, I've been experimenting, but it is kind of nice to have backup to know kind of what you want to read next. Because like if for some reason I start to get um, like a reading slump, if you will, from one book, I can switch to another book because maybe it's the book itself. So, and all the books are fabulous and I want to read them all, but I think this is just going to be the way I'm going to have to do it. And I'm fine with that. So anyway, guys, that's it. I've been rambling. I appreciate it uh, for you guys listening. And if I can get some videos today, I will. I, I do try not to do that. It, not that I try not to do it, but I don't want to, especially when I'm in a place like a, a, a bookstore, when there's other people. Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah. So anyway, that's it, guys. Um, take care and uh, happy reading. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.